What is up, Mizzou fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of ShowMeFootball.com, covering your Missouri Tigers. And I felt the need to hop on here today solo um, to talk to you guys about the bombshell report that we got this morning from Pete Thamel, who covers college athletics. And that is the news that Desiree Reed Francois, Missouri's athletic director, is taking the same job at the University of Arizona. This comes as a huge shock to the university, to its fans, probably to the athletic department to some extent. Um, everything seemed to be rosy in Missouri's athletic department. You know, look, I cover football specifically. You guys know that. Uh, but I felt the need to talk about this because this does kind of affect Mizzou football. This uh, kind of needs to be talked about even though I don't cover the rest of Missouri athletics. I'm only here for football. But this is pretty significant news, guys, and that's why I felt the need to hop on here today and give you my thoughts and analysis. Uh, this is a big deal. You know, and, and losing DRF hurts because, you know, this isn't like a graceful exit. This isn't something that we saw coming. Th this game is a shock. This is a surprise, and it hurts to lose DRF. Desiree Reed francois isn't just leaving the University of Missouri. She's leaving for her alma mater, which, you know, some people will point to that, but her alma mater wasn't necessarily in a great position. It wasn't really an attractive job. With the way that college athletics is heading, where we're going to have two power conferences being the Big Ten and the SEC, it makes virtually no sense for DRF to leave Missouri for a Big 12 school in Arizona. It just doesn't make any sense at all. And not only is Arizona a step down from Missouri, but she's taking a pay cut, guys. She's not going to be making as much as Arizona. And Arizona is a school that uh, is in the red right now. You know, they're about a quarter of a billion dollars in debt. Why? What the hell happened? Why is DRF leaving Missouri seemingly where everything was great to go be the athletic director at Arizona? There's a couple reasons for this. A couple potential reasons, I should say. First of all, if you guys remember, there was a report that came out a couple weeks ago that Missouri was forming, the Board of Curators was forming, um, something of an oversight committee for athletics. And at the time, I feel like no one really thought anything of it. Hell, I didn't really think anything of it. It just felt like, okay, we're establishing a committee here to help run the athletic department. Cool, right? Most of you watching this video are probably familiar with the Board of Curators at Missouri, which is pretty much just a group of higher-ups at the university uh, that are involved in the decision-making process for just about everything athletics. Anytime a coaching hire is made, it has to be approved by the Board of Curators. But I think a lot of us are coming to the realization now that this... Uh, Oversight committee maybe was something that pushed Desiree Reed Francois out. Something that made her feel like she was being hamstrung by the university because we have this board of curators that is created to, again, help make these decisions at the university. Like the next athletic director hire that we're going to have is going to be ran by the board of curators. And if you guys remember when Barry Odom was fired and the athletic director at the time, Jim Stark, was set out to find a new football coach, the board of curators kind of strong-armed that coaching search when Jim Stark came to them with a name of candidates and the board of curators essentially said, no, these guys aren't good enough. It was a list that had um, Blake Anderson, Jeff Munkin, and... Um, Got one more name that I can't remember, but it was a list of coaches that uh, a lot of people would have been underwhelmed with. And so the board of curators basically said, all right, we're taking the wheel here. They went out, they hired Eli Drinkwitz. And, you know, I've heard rumors that DRF wasn't exactly the biggest fan of Eli Drinkwitz. And that's typically the case when you have an athletic director that's brought in and there's a coach coaching a sport that they did not hire. The leash is always going to be shorter with that coach. I've heard some rumors that Eli Drinkwitz and Desiree Reed Francois didn't exactly have the best relationship. You look at Drink's uh, last six and six season before he really popped off this year. There, there were rumors that DRF maybe was thinking about pulling the trigger there and 
this is all i'm not saying that i'm hearing this from anybody like i'm not in the know i just know that fans people that pay attention to missouri football were saying these things and when drink got that extension when you know he was coming off a not so great season a lot of people felt like what the hell why is he getting extended and if you guys remember that extension was mainly from the board of curators not desiree reed francois i think that drinkwitz always kind of respected and looked up to the board of curators because they were the people who hired him and not desiree reed francois now what am i getting at here i'm just saying that there is a possibility here that the board of curators has more say than the athletic director when it comes to these decisions when it comes to overseeing the football program maybe desiree reed francois felt like her job was pointless here and that's why she left to go to a school that uh, is seemingly seen as a step down why would she leave missouri maybe it's because she felt like she was being micromanaged by the board of curators by the university and a lot of people on social media to this point are really angry at the board of curators and i get it look if 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 drf was pushed out by the board of curators then yeah look i'm upset with the board of curators here because drf was great for the university she had made a lot of great decisions she had really kickstarted a lot of projects that should have been done a long time ago it seemed like she finally brought stability to the university when we had gone through a lot of rough years in both sports it just seemed like she knew what she was doing and, and it seemed like she had kind of corrected that dysfunction whatever it was we had seen like five athletic directors in the last decade and drf finally brought stability someone we thought could be a long-term athletic director and now all of a sudden she's gone and it really makes you wonder it really makes you feel queasy that maybe not everything was so rosy um in the mizzou athletic department and we were only seeing the tip of the iceberg there's also the possibility that that fractured relationship for lack of a better term with the football program and with eli drinkwitz maybe it was something that pushed drf out maybe she wasn't a big fan of drinkwitz the board of curators was and you know when you go up against a head coach of the most important sport who just went 11 and 2 as an athletic director you're probably not winning that battle because higher ups aren't going to take too kindly to that if you're butting heads with the successful football coach but at this point that's really more so of a theory than something that is common knowledge so i'll stop there with that talking point we have to talk about though what is the reality what is known and that is that drf is no longer the athletic director at the university of missouri and that just is not good i I don't know how you could look at it as a good thing because a lot of things were coming to the university i just think if you look though at the last couple of months there was something brewing in the athletic department that nobody really saw we just saw what we thought was a well-oiled machine yeah mizzou football had lost some a coordinator and a position coach and stuff but i mean look you're coming off an 11 and 2 season everyone loves what you're doing you just got that 62 million dollar donation for the north end zone project um yeah basketball is having a rough season but they were good last year and there's you know hope for the future and everything softball is doing really well gymnastics is doing well wrestling is doing well there's a lot of excitement for the new baseball coach desiree reed francois had done a really good job up to this point but knowing what we know now it seems like there was something going on behind the scenes because you simply don't leave an sec athletic director job for a big 12 athletic director job at this stage if you weren't pushed out or if this was a unique circumstance the only unique circumstance that makes a lick of sense is that you know this is her alma mater and maybe she just wanted to go back to the area desiree reed francois has kind of hopped to a lot of different jobs at this point and maybe this is just her next challenge that she wanted to take on but i mean she's taking less money she's going to a worse program or a worse school i should say that's in dire financial straight it's like what this doesn't make any sense if you guys remember back there was supposed to be that master facilities plan that was announced by the university and then there was a board of curators meeting and then after that meeting instead of a master plan we got just 
an announcement that they were going to be making renovations to the north end zone at Faro Field. And look, that that's a great step in the right direction. It's about time the north end zone got renovated. But there was supposed to be a master facilities plan that included sports all across the university. And we never got that. And then we got the oversight committee and that that thing was established, whatever that is. Because at this point, no one really knows what it is and what their job is. But it seems like with what we know now that Desiree Reed Francois felt like she couldn't do her job here. That's kind of what I'm thinking is that the University of Missouri was not letting the AD be the AD. And look, if you felt like you were being micromanaged at your job to the point where you couldn't do your job, you would probably want to leave too. So I totally understand that if that's what happened here. And if that's what happened here, people have the right to be angry at the board of curators and at the university because um, it looks like they may have fumbled the best thing that has happened to the athletic department in, I don't know, 20 years, the last decade. Because again, DRF had made a lot of good decisions, a lot of stuff that I appreciated. She was great for improving the game day experience. She finally got black seats in Mizzou Arena. She was involved in the process of, you know, starting those plans for the North End Zone renovation. You know, she was great at fundraising and navigating NIL, and now she's gone. And it just really makes you wonder what was going on. It seemed like finally everything was pulling in the right direction for Mizzou. Everyone was working towards the same thing. Mizzou was finally taking athletics serious like a big boy program should. And then you lose the person that seemingly was at the head of all of that. However, what I will say right now is that we just don't know enough yet. We, we only are seeing the tip of the iceberg, in my opinion. Like, I've seen a lot of Mizzou fans already on social media um, publicly outing members of the board of curators and calling them derogatory terms and stuff. And look, I'm here for fan reactions and stuff. And if there's someone to be blamed here, then look, I get it. But... Uh, Guys, we don't really, I mean, look, I, I, on Twitter right now, I, I'm seeing something about one of the board of curators uh, who's a female. Somebody is calling her the B word. And it's like, guys, we don't even, she may have nothing to do with this at all. And I just think we don't know enough yet. We don't know enough about what really happened here uh, to really take a side on anything. I, I get why people are upset that DRF left and look, I, I think it sucks. I think it hurts. There's no way around that, but um, we're going to, it's, it's going to take time to see who was right here. Did the board of curators make the right decision pushing DRF out? Is that what happened? We don't even know if that's what happened, first of all. But if it is what happened, you know, maybe there was a reason for that. And maybe there was another good reason that we don't know that DRF left. Like, I just, we don't know enough about it. We will see who is right. We will see why DRF left in due time. Um, but the reality is Mizzou has to search for a new athletic director. And I will say also that if this was because of the board of curators, it almost makes you wonder how attractive of a spot is this if the next athletic director feels like they're just going to be micromanaged once again by the board of curators. And I get why people are angry at the board of curators right now and why people are making assumptions and all that stuff, but we just don't know enough right now, in my opinion, to really be saying anything. But this is definitely a shock. Like there was a, this was a bombshell on a Monday morning that um, wasn't a good thing. It's just, it, it's a bad look for the university. But on the bright side, I do think everything will be fine, guys. Like, you know, football and basketball are not falling apart. Now, basketball, I mean, you guys can debate about that. But I'm here to cover football, and on the football side, everything is fine. Like, yeah, Desiree Reed Francois left, but look, she never hired Drinkwitz in the first place. If the rumors are true about her or not hiring Drinkwitz and not having a great relationship with him are true, um, then look, I, I don't see the big deal here. Life goes on. It's not like Desiree Reed Francois coached the teams or recruited the players, you know? So it, it's not great that you're losing your athletic director in February, but I mean, it could be worse. It's just, I I'm just hoping that this doesn't make all the momentum we seemingly had in the athletic department stop. Like, I hope this isn't coming to a screeching halt 
because everything seemed to be going great with the 11 and 2 football season and basketball before everything went downhill this year. It just seemed like, wow, like Mizzou sports is really on the up and up and they still very well could be, but this is a bump in the road, losing your athletic director in this fashion. So those are my thoughts. And I just capping this off with uh, my thoughts from a football perspective. Again, I think football will be fine, guys. Um, Eli Drinkwitz will be fine. They will bring in a new athletic director. I always felt like Drinkwitz reported to the board of curators and not Desiree Reed Francois. Just, you know, reading the tea leaves and I mean, there was a video I remember seeing after the Cotton Bowl where Drinkwitz went up to Moon Choi, who's the president of the university, and giving him a bear hug. And it just seems like Drink's relationship was always much stronger with the higher upset Missouri and not necessarily uh, the athletic director. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on the breaking news that Desiree Reed Francois will no longer be the athletic director at the University of Missouri. Pretty surprising, but. You know, I would like to hear from you guys in the comments what you think is this uh, red flag for you, alarm bells going off uh, at the athletic department, or do you guys think, hey, we'll be fine, it is what it is. Uh, I would be curious to hear from you guys, but those are my thoughts. That's my instant reaction. So with all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Mizzou fans can find this. Make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com for more. I'll see you all in the next one. M-I-Z.